Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Shalom, Om Swastiastu, Nama Buddhaya, Salam Kebajikan, and a very good morning for all of us. Firstly, I would like to introduce myself. My name is Anissa Renanda Pranato, a student from the Faculty of Pharmacy, Universitas Indonesia. And today, I will be your Master of Ceremony for this virtual summer course. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. And thank you for joining us today on the fifth day of the Faculty of Pharmacy Universitas Indonesia Virtual Summer Course 2022, Advanced in Pharmaceutical Science. Firstly, I would like to greet our honorable guests. The honorable speaker for this session's lecture, the Dean of Faculty of Pharmacy Universitas Indonesia, Professor Dr. Ari Yenwar, Master of Science, from my Biomedical Computation and Drug Design Laboratory, Faculty of Pharmacy, Universitas Indonesia. And also the Honorable Moderator, Dr. Apotekar Ernie Sagita, Magister Pharmacy, PhD from the Faculty of Pharmacy, Universitas Indonesia. The Honorable Professors, lecturers, and all faculty members who attended today's lecture. Last but not least, I would like to also greet all audiences and participants. This summer course is aimed for students and fresh graduates who are interested in increasing their knowledge of pharmaceutical science with a broader perspective because we invite professors and lecturers from Universitas Indonesia as well as well-known universities abroad. And today, before we start, let me explain the agenda for today's course. The first one would be Owen. A lecture session for about an hour, which follows one lecture and one hour discussion. We will proceed to the giving of certificate of appreciation for both speaker and moderator. Lastly, we will have a group photo. To our main agenda, the, the seventh lecture, which will be presented by Prof. Ari, which will be moderated by Dr. Ernie. I need to read that there in your CV as today's that is a lecturer in the Faculty of Pharmacy, Universitas Indonesia. In 2021, she finished her doctoral degree from Faculty of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Science, Monash University, Australia. She is one of the members of the Laboratory of Pharmaceutics and Pharmaceutical Technology, Faculty of Pharmacy, Universitas Indonesia. Her research interest area is polymeric nanoparticle drug delivery system. Her recent publication is Polymeric Nanotube as Drug Delivery Vectors, Comparison of Covalently and Supramolecularly Assembled Constructs. All right, without further ado, please welcome our Honorable Moderator, Dr. Emi Sagita. The stage is yours. Thank you very much, Ms. Anissa, for a nice introduction. So good morning, everyone. My name is Ernie Sagita, and I am so honored to be appointed as the moderator for the Lecture 7 of Virtual Summer Course 2022 held by Faculty of Pharmacy, Universitas Indonesia. So today's lecture topic is the role of Molecular Docking, Success Story, and Practice, which will be presented by Professor Dr. Apotheker Aryanwar, Master of Science. So before we begin the lecture, please allow me to read a brief introduction to our today's lecture. Professor Dr. Apotheker Aryanwar, Master of Science, earned his doctorate degree in 2006 from the Nara Institute of Science and Technology in Japan. Professor Ari is currently a lecturer as well as the Dean of Faculty of Pharmacy, Universitas Indonesia, and throughout his time in the university, he has made a significant contribution to the body of knowledge by conducting research on medicinal chemistry, 
computer-aided drug design using QSAR, virtual screening, molecular docking, and molecular dynamic simulation, machine learning and deep learning, herbal database development, and artificial intelligence. He also has produced a great number of academic publications, about 150 research papers, one book chapter, and two books. And he has supervised many students in doing research, including nine PhD students. So, all right. Without further ado, please welcome our honorable lecturer, Professor Dr. Apotekar Arianwar, Master of Science. Please feel free to use the time and screen. Okay, <clears throat> thank you very much, uh, Ms. Uh, Dr. Ernie Sagita for very kind uh, introduction. introduction. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, uh, everyone, all over the world, or Indonesia in a uh, virtual summer course uh, 2022, the team of uh, advanced in pharmaceutical science. Uh, my today's topic is about role of uh, molecular docking. Uh, in drug discovery, a little bit of uh, a story about the success story, and also I will give a, a basic uh, using usage of uh, molecular docking in practice. I hope uh, the whole of lecture will be usable for you all. Thank you. So please let me uh, share about my screen. Okay. Uh, Okay. So, can you uh, see my screen, uh, PowerPoint screen? Yes, Prof. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah I'll continue to the second. Uh, Slide. This location of our university in a Google Map. Yeah, if you are come from abroad, maybe one point in. If you start from uh, Turkey, <laughs> you will take uh, one hundred four day. If you take a walk to our country, yeah, of course you will uh, uh, pass uh, by the many border of the country. We are located in uh, Java Island, yeah, in, in the uh, right bottom, yeah, in the pin. So Jakarta is a capital uh, city of Indonesia, and we are located in Depok, the southern part of uh, southern part of Jakarta. University of Indonesia is uh, established in uh, eighteen forty nine, yeah. We are located in two campus, yeah, Jakarta campus, the old campus, yeah. The new campus in is a depot campus established uh, 1987. We are located in a uh, depot campus now, and we are located in. Uh, we occupied this building uh, together with a uh, faculty of pharma, to, together with a uh, faculty of uh, medicine, yeah, dentistry, nursing, and also public health. So five faculty using uh, this uh, location together for uh, interprofessional education yeah, in health science cluster of Universitas Indonesia. Yeah, this outline of my uh, lecture, yeah, about a uh, little bit uh, history of molecular docking in drug discovery, and also about uh, drug discovery, usage of molecular docking software, the benefit of molecular docking, and also the brief uh, tutorial of Autodoc. Okay, so if we uh, see uh, about the uh, drug discovery, there is in the field of uh, medicine, biotechnology, and pharmacology, drug discovery is uh, is the process by which new drug candidates are discovered. So historically, medicine was discovered by identifying the active ingredient of traditional medicine or by chance discovery or serendipity. So typically, uh, previously, if, if one or researcher uh, want to develop uh, the drug, a new drug, usually based on traditional uh, information, traditional medicine, or if they make a 
uh, discovery in uh, the lab ya yeah. usually the serendipity is always uh, come ya yeah. then also uh, the chemical library of the synthetic small molecule come from natural product or extract is screened in the whole cell or or a whole organism to identify substances that have uh, the desired therapeutic effect in the process known as uh, classical pharmacology so after there is a promising uh, active uh, ingredient the active ingredient so continue to the classical pharmacology to be tested to prove the therapeutic effect there is a scenario of a drug discovery then uh, if we want to know about a new drug usually uh, people or researcher uh, use or synthet synthesize uh, many many components of the drug uh, if they want to make a drug for from the chemical synthesis this is also a drug come from the nature yeah it's about uh, metformin the metformin uh, the metformin use yeah uh, at 2017 17 yeah there is a celebration of uh, 16 years six, uh, 60 years of metformin use yeah actually uh, the lead compound of uh, metformin come from guanidine already known in 1918 come from a galaga officinalis yeah in the uh, right side yeah you, you see the beautiful uh, plants yeah with the uh, purple uh, flowers yeah in it known can be lower glucose uh, in animal but at at the time there is uh, no use for for human at 2000 uh, 1920 yeah the guanidine derivative is uh, found including metformin but the research for treat, treating diabetes with uh, guanidine derivative is not including the metformin the metformin uh, known at uh, 1942 serendipity by using uh, this uh, compound yeah, metformin as antimalarial and also uh, to treat influenza during uh, World War II yeah in the World War there is uh, the the needs of a uh, compound for combating uh, malaria to the soldier and also to treat influenza if demanding but during uh, application for this uh, clinical test sometime it lower the blood glucose so after that uh, the people still uh, ignore about this and until the gene stern from french physician who first reported the use of metformin to treat diabetes so 60 years of metformin use uh, started from uh, 19 uh, 57 from John Stern. The next um, metformin was introduced to USA in 1995 and 1998. The long-term benefit of metformin was also identified by UK, UK uh, prospective diabetes studies. Yeah, this a uh, little bit uh, metformin use as to treat uh, diabetes. But up to now, how the metformin uh, mechanism in diabetes is still uh, unknown. Yeah, there is uh, also serendipity of in drug discovery. This is well known uh, picture of uh, Sir Alexander Fleming, the Scottish uh, biologist, biologist, uh, physician, and also microbiologist. During his uh, work, yeah, in the laboratory, he worked with many. Uh, many uh, plate of uh, bacteria yeah well, but after uh, 
he oh, he yeah. returned from uh, vacancy yeah. vacancy yeah out of office uh, several uh, weeks yeah he returned he found that he found that the plate has a clear a uh, zone then the clear zone is identified there is a colony of a penicillin notatum that inhibit the uh, growth of a uh, bacteria in the plate so later the penicillin notatum known to uh, secrete the substance as a uh, penis benzyl, uh, the penicillin yeah he got the nobel prize in physiology or medicine in 1945 there is a years of our independence days yeah he shared the result with uh, Howard Florey and Boris Chain. And the serendipity of a drug also known in Viagra is con uh, contain uh, sildenafil, yeah, as a brand name of uh, Viagra. The, at the, the first, the, Viag the sildenafil is originally uh, researched for a uh, heart related chest pain but during the uh, research they can also uh, treat uh, for erectile dysfunction and also pulmonary arterial hypertension the similar field works by blocking a phosphodiesterase 5 in the right side yeah the the cyan uh, color is a uh, pde5 uh Binding with a uh, sildenafil, yeah, the green uh, color, green, red, and blue color is sildenafil. So the sildenafil occupies the binding site of uh, PDE5. Yeah, this is a crystal structure of human PDE5 bound to the sildenafil. So the <coughs> the <coughs> discovery of sildenafil in erectile dysfunction become uh, well known as a Viagra, so very successful in the market. And also the second uh, usage of serenafil is for pulmonary arterial hypertension. So this structure, yeah, by this, uh, the structure of, uh, or crystal structure of PDE5, is important to design the drug in a structure-based drug design. So this, the crystal structure of protein is very, very important. If you want to define, for example, in uh, uh, a uh, in the modern drug discovery, yeah, is involved involve the identification of heat screening, medicinal chemistry, and optimization of heats to increase affinity, selectivity, or to reduce potential side effect, efficacy, or potency, metabolic stability or to increase half-life and also oral bioavailability so once the compound meets all of these requirements above yeah has been identified it will begin it will be it will begin the drug development process prior to clinical trial if you see the picture yeah uh, our graph in the right side the compound collection is a uh, screen with high primary assay, assay yeah, with high throughput screening in vitro. If there is a hit, yeah, then the secondary or go to the secondary uh, assay, yeah, to uh, to see bioavailability, toxicity, metabolism, etc. As I, uh, I mentioned before, uh, written in the uh, left side, yeah. So if it passed the secondary assay, or if we, uh, or even if in the primary assay also have a promising, it can be a lead compound, yeah, lead compound, and go to structure activity relationship uh, test, yeah. So if this passes, yeah. It can be a 
go to protein ligand complex uh, characterization, then go to design and chemical synthesis. And there is a loop uh, in, the, in, the, in the circle. But if all uh, secondary say uh, have a promising, a great a promising, yeah, it can be a clinical candidate. They can uh, go to clinical candidate, go to uh, maybe a preclinic, pre and also uh, a clinical uh, phase one, yeah, two, three, yeah. Now, this is a process of uh, drug discovery from uh, drug discovery, preclinical, yeah, clinical trial. It's need, it need, uh, more than uh, 10, 10 years yeah, to get the uh, one FDA approved drug. Takes a uh, three to six year from drug discovery to preclinical. So by using uh, this scenario compound with the synthetic compound, the preclinical uh, trial uh, already uh, run out of many uh, fun, yeah? But the usage of uh, in silico uh, experiment in the face of drug discovery, the usage of uh, thousands compound could be uh, hypothesized, yeah? It, if there is a promising by by using a molecular docking, yeah, so the compound could be synthesized and go uh, to preclinical. So uh, making a thousand or hundred or thousand compounds could be uh, avoided if we make a prediction first by. Uh, in silico technique or with a molecular docking. In a uh, in silico method, at least there is a many method. Yeah, the first uh, structural best drug design, uh, yeah. best drug design, and also another new method: artificial intelligence and machine learning, and also network pharmacology. In the first two, yeah, structure-based drug design and ligand-based drug design already used in uh, decades. Yeah, in structure-based dis drug design, the requirement is uh, the structure of the target protein should be available in our uh, knowledge. Yeah, without this uh, target molecule, a uh, protein. Uh, or protein, yeah. Uh, the molecular docking or molecular dynamic could not be uh, done, yeah. But in the ligand based uh, ligand based drug design, the requirement of a drug target is not important. The far the pharmaco the pharmacophore modeling could be uh, the the pharmacore could be uh, identified from the compound known active yeah known active to the uh, certain uh, disease if we have a uh, several known uh, compounds we can make uh, the consensus of pharmacophore using the consensus pharmacophore we can create the new molecules so without uh, knowledge of uh, the structure protein or structure uh, target protein of the disease. And also the KISAR, KISAR yeah, quantitative structure activity relationship, the information about the structure or target structure yeah, is also uh, uh, important. The important thing in ligand-based drug design is the non-activity of the compound 
So basic, based on the known activity, we can create the model. The artificial intelligence or machine learning also use uh, this scenario, yeah, using legend based and drug design. Today uh, topics, we, we only focus the molecular docking uh, as the one model, uh, one uh, method in a structure based drug design that uh, interacting the compound, yeah, the protein, a target compound with the ligand or uh, inhibitor. There is a target drug target interaction uh, theory if you want to make a molecular docking. As you can see, the the left uh, picture, yeah, there is a macromolecular target, macromolecular target with the binding site. The binding site could be occupied by the substrate, yeah, usually the original substrate, but the drug could also occupy the binding site, yeah, replacing the original substrate yeah by occupying the binding site of the drug so the original substrate could not be occupied the binding site so the original uh, work of the molecular target could be inhibited by this drug so the original substrate could not be processed yeah this is a theory of drug uh, target interaction so there is usually the occupation the binding site by drug or uh, original substrate is a competitive yeah using, using a competitive mechanism which one is a uh, better affinity to the binding site the drug or substrate. If the drug win to occupy the binding site, so the uh, original uh, work of macromolecular target is uh, inhibited. So the affinity of drug and binding site, yeah, if we can see it's in, in the equilibrium, yeah, it could be the affinity could be uh, long or short, yeah, depend on. Uh, the nature of this drug. So if the drug is uh, occupied in the binding site, there is many interaction yeah in the uh, green color yeah there is a band binding region in the molecular macromolecular target yeah the red color yeah there is a binding group yeah in the drug. Interaction with binding group in the drug with the binding region in the molecular target, there is a intermolecular interaction. There is many intermolecular intermolecular interactions such as uh, uh, hydrogen bonding, yeah, van der Waals, yeah, uh, hydrophobic interaction, etc. I will uh, mention uh, later. So in it is a brief uh, theory of uh, docking, yeah. So docking attempt to find the best matching between two molecules, drug or ligand, and therapeutic target or protein receptor. We can figure there is a, a yeah, the hugging a tiger with uh, kids, yeah, in the convenient, yeah. Uh, confident pose, yeah. So it's, it's also uh, in the right uh, picture, yeah. We can see the yellow, the yellow uh, molecule occupy the binding pocket, yeah, from the molecule uh, gray color, yeah. The binding. Uh, region in the molecules 
show in the uh, symbol of pro arc yeah there is a amino acid yeah proline uh, 430 yeah arginine 180 interact with the uh, binding part yeah binding binding group yeah binding group of the leg ligand yeah so the the affinity is uh, existing in this uh, interaction yeah so there is at least uh, three indicator should be uh, considered in molecular docking the first is posing second is scoring and the third is ranking yeah or rank the posing is the assessment of the suitability of the interaction of the ligand with receptor compared to the reference ligand expressed in root mean square deviation so there is a posing yeah the posing of uh, ligand in the binding site the posing of ligand should be like that it cannot be upside down yeah there is a very specific so if we if there is another pose yeah from this uh, molecule so the another pose of the first molecule occupy the same uh, place yeah the same places yeah place could be uh, calculate with a root mean square deviation for example if we have a uh, interaction originally we have interaction between drug and uh, target originally the ligand is located here then we separate this ligand or drug out of this uh, binding pocket then we make a, a docking or to placing again to the uh, original position usually to to place this uh, molecule to original position uh, there is no uh, fit here yeah? there is no fit uh, location sometimes shifted some uh, several uh, angstrom yeah zero point sometimes angstrom so the shifted location from original position and docked position could be calculated it's also the same as if we put uh, our uh, hand yeah or palm yeah uh, the finger from the uh, left hand and right hand if we put together in the fit uh, situation there is a uh, rmsd become zero but if the hand right hand or left hand is shifted so the rmsd uh, larger uh, higher than uh, zero yeah usually we are say the rmsd uh, threshold is uh, to angstrom the rmsd uh, higher than two angstrom we consider is the different uh, a position from original there is a posing yeah the scoring is the process of evaluating the particle pose yeah so for a pose we make a score by counting the number of preferred intermolecular interaction such as hydrogen bond and hydrophobic contact then we calculate usually uh, get the value energy uh, scoring yeah for example in this picture in this picture uh, minus uh, 76 uh, uh, kilocalorie per mole the most uh, 
effort ya yeah. energy is the 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 more negative value so the more negative value of the scoring in this term ya yeah, is uh, in the right uh, left uh, picture ya yeah, the 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 value the value ya yeah, if this value from the first position there is two value ya yeah. the first position is in high energy and the second position is uh, lower energy the difference between first uh, position in the two value ya yeah, the high the higher difference is uh, the more uh, negative so the more negative is Uh, the most favor uh, position and uh, the, the ranking is the process of classifying the ligand that are most uh, likely to favor interaction with a particular receptor based on the estimated uh, binding uh, free energy we compare the the value of score yeah we make the higher score as a uh, more the most uh, negative value so based on uh, three uh, criteria we can uh, use as a success uh, full uh, docking yeah there is at least a uh, three docking method used from uh, in the field of molecular docking There is a rigid docking, yeah, and also semi-flexible docking and flexible docking. In rigid docking, we treat protein and ligand are rigid. In the semi-flexible docking, the ligand is flexible, but the protein is rigid. In flexible docking, we treat both protein or ligand uh, are flexible. We can see also this, the example uh, in uh, in the left uh, side. Yeah, there's many method in semi flexible, rigid, and uh, flexible docking. Yeah, there is a uh, soft docking, side chain flexibility, average grid, molecular dynamic. There is a si uh, simulation. Yeah, and also uh, rigid docking, shape and hotspot complementary. This is for uh, flexible docking, yeah. Adapt from a key lock a theory to the and the in-use fit theory. If you know, there is a very very uh, famous uh, theory in uh, biochemistry. You, yeah. Uh, there is a uh, proposed about 100 years ago, as uh, 1995, uh, yeah. But the new theory, after key lock theory, yeah, lock and key theory, there is a induced fit theory proposed by uh, Koslan. Yeah, there is a the model using a flexible docking. So the protein could be changed after they interact with the compound yeah or uh, ligand then there is a about a docking algorithm what's algorithm used in the docking there is a example of software algorithm such as monte carlo genetic algorithm hierarchical method or any other yeah i don't didn't put here all the method at least the first version of autodoc using the Monte Carlo method but uh, later autodoc 4.0 using a genetic algorithm there is a software we will use in this uh, uh, lecture yeah so docking algorithm is uh, how the method yeah to make uh, to find the position yeah There is how to, to to find the position in the binding site. 
there is many methods using dog vision. This is a software used uh, Monte Carlo genetic algorithm. In genetic algorithm, like uh, uh, Mendelian, yeah, not Mendelian, uh, Darwin, yeah, method, yeah, the survival of the fetus, yeah. So the best, the good uh, interaction is uh, retain, yeah, retain. And the next uh, uh, searching will try another position. So all the best position is uh, retained in the genetic algorithm. After the position is uh, found, yeah, the scoring function using a several method. Also, there is a force field, empirical method, and knowledge base. In the force field function, there is the function is uh, are developed based on the based on a physical atomic interaction like van der Waals interaction, electrostatic interaction, bond length, bond angles, and torsion. Force field function are and parameter are usually derived from both experimental data and also from uh, initial quantum mechanic calculation according to principle of physics. So all parameter using usage and as uh, from a non uh, experimental. Yeah, there is a dog score. Gold score, Haddock score, ICM, SF, XPSF, use the score of force field function. Yeah. There's another function, yeah, empirical scoring function based on binding energy of complex that uh, approximately by the sum of individual uncorrelated term. There is many terms, yeah, the G delta G binding. Uh, Sum from many terms: delta G O, delta G hydrogen bond, yeah, delta G ionic, delta G lipophilic, that delta G uh, rotation, yeah. The the the, cof the the coefficient of the various term involved in calculation of binding energy are obtained from regression analysis using experimentally determined binding energy or potentially from X-ray structural information. So many people in physics uh, work with this uh, area. So for molecular docking, also use this uh, known uh, value from previous uh, work. Yeah, the empirical function have a simpler energy term to evaluate when compared to the force field function, and thus much faster in binding score calculation. There is example, for example, score two, chem score, rank score. Leak score and glide score use this empirical function. The knowledge uh, based scoring function function yeah is derived also uh, from uh, structural information embedded in experimentally determined atomic structure. The function use a statistical analysis on crystal structure of complex to do, to do, to obtain the interact interatomic contact frequencies between protein and lig ligand base on the presumption that stronger an interaction is the greater frequency of its structure of its occurrence will be. There is a drug score, PMF, M score, SMOC, bleep, IT score, SE, use this uh, scoring function. So, the contact frequency is calculated. Yeah, the contact, interatomic contact frequency between protein and ligand, ligand is uh, considered in this uh, scoring function. Another scoring function now is uh, built using uh, machine learning. Yeah, machine learning prediction of 3CL Pro is used to. Uh, TCL Pro SARS CoV 2, yeah, used in this uh, research. This is the June 2022, yeah, it's a little bit uh, uh, new, yeah. There is a uh, usage uh, docking score 
with uh, machine learning. So the limitation in uh, in docking, yeah, the scoring function. There is many scoring function scoring function used in uh, docking. So we have to evaluate between scoring function or between software docking software. And also some interaction, some more interaction are considered. For example, uh, the interaction of uh, what's this? Uh, yeah, there's uh, the rare. Uh, Like a covalent, yeah, covalent interaction, yeah. Some covalent interaction is not considered in this uh, interaction between protein and ligand. Although there is also uh, some uh, docking, sometimes considering this uh, covalent dock using a covalent docking, but it's very rare, yeah. And also false negative and false positive also found in the molecular docking and also inaccurate uh, water molecule in binding pocket is also uh, uh, found yeah for example yeah uh, the water mo molecule in binding sites is uh, common in the uh, reality but during the uh, molecular docking all the mol all the molecule yeah is uh, removed from the binding site including water molecule so usually the people use interaction only between uh, protein and ligand but water molecule is already removed from the binding site sometimes water molecule located between the ligand and protein or the water molecule mediated binding so the ligand binding with water molecule and water molecule bind to the uh, protein so this is a hydrogen bonding mediated by water molecule so this water molecule become important in the binding so sometimes the role of water molecule sometimes uh, is uh, negligence. Yeah, there is a success story of docking. Yeah, SIV one integrase inhibitor found in two thousand seven. Yeah, in United States, named uh, Raltegravil that approved for medical use to inhibit the HIV integrase. Originally, the research uh, in integrase, yeah, as you can see in the left side, yeah, there is a two molecule, yeah, green color and yellow color. The cyan color is uh, amino acid in the binding site. If you take a look, uh, green side, green color and yellow color, there is a same molecule. The same molecule or two molecule occupy the binding site of Raltegravir in the different location it means the binding uh, pocket of siv1 integrase is very big yeah can occupy two molecule yeah with the green color and yellow color actually this is the same molecule so based on this uh, knowledge the researcher extend the molecule yeah by using a linker yeah 
we can see the in the middle there is a uh, many linker a to j yeah a b c to j you can see the linker has a different uh, substituent yeah r the r is uh, in the bottom yeah this is a part of the molecule in the uh, left side yeah so if we connected the r with the a butterfly yeah like uh, the molecule linker like butterfly molecule yeah with the r yeah there is two part of molecule r uh, carry from the linker yeah the length of uh, two both uh, substituents depend on how it uh, linked to the side of the butterfly. We can see the ex, uh, the successful uh, docking yeah here the in the right side yeah the red uh, molecule and the blue molecule yeah occupied the whole uh, binding pocket there is two part of the molecule as the left picture link with the butterfly like a uh, shape a uh, molecule yeah so after they found the molecule can occupy the binding site they make a uh, synthesize then try to uh, <coughs> molecule uh, the clinical uh, trial so there is a uh, important how we we uh, try in this uh, at the first research in 2004 yeah at the first until it found this phenomena to <coughs> medical use it take uh, only 3 years yeah 2004 to 2007 only take three years from the in silico work to the clinic okay yeah it's very very success uh, story another usage of uh, another usage of the docking is a drug repurposing Drug repurposing is uh, using the known drug already uh, used in the market to repositioning to another target. Yeah, the new target from the old uh, molecule known as another target. Sometimes drug repurposing can be uh, replacing or using this another term as a drug repositioning people using a machine learning approach yeah or a docking approach also can uh, also uh, available yeah so if you see the uh, publication about drug repurposing the molecular docking is one uh, Computational approach used in this method. There is many computational approach in drug repurposing. There is a signature matching, molecular docking, genetic association, pathway mapping, retrospective clinical analysis, novel data source. The blue uh, color is a computational approach. Another drug repurposing method is experimental approach such as a binding assay to identify relevant target interaction or phenotypic screening so the important uh, molecular docking uh, here as one of competition approach for a drug repurposing the molecular docking itself as a structural based competition strategy to predict binding site complementary between ligand for example a drug yeah 
and therapeutic target or typically a protein as i mentioned previously yeah and also there is a deep learning method in drug discovery yeah so oh, deep learning is the method of artificial intelligence as a machine learning it can be used for uh, drug repurposing or drug uh, repositioning this example of drug repurposing for SARS-CoV-2 main protease yeah previously 2022 yeah using a uh, molecular docking and molecular dynamic investigation and this, this is a uh, one of the successful uh, research yeah for drug repurposing to the target yeah main protease target if you're interested to this uh, research can uh, uh, access directly to this uh, journal yeah so gnina 1.2 this is software yeah published in journal of chem informatics this is a molecular docking with deep learning the deep learning uh use for uh scoring there is a scoring method originally this uh, gnina uh come from uh, software autodoc autodoc fina but the scoring method using the new method yeah of uh, deep learning there is all the many uh, various uh, in silico work here yeah? natural product library could be thousands or millions uh, compound or as a digital uh, source yeah could be analyzed using molecular docking directly we make the affinity test from the ligand to the protein yeah in pharmacophore mapping originally we have to make a pharmacophore from non uh, substance yeah could also make a QSR modeling drug repurposing admit prediction chemical similarity and also making a the target signaling pathway in this is network yeah there is a uh, one of the network construction in uh, traditional chinese medicine usually uh, make this uh, picture yeah and the target component interaction based on molecular docking so based on this target molecular interaction there is a uh, information could be follow up to the molecular dynamic simulation to the network or to the network construction so the role of this molecular docking is uh, central here yeah to find a target compound interaction after that it could be a fine tune with molecular dynamic simulation or we can uh, map making a map yeah in a uh, target compound interaction in the uh, system biology so the tools for in silico or in silico tools of for the docking usually there is uh, offline tools or online tools in offline tools yeah we should install the software in on our own computer yeah our, or our laptop our desktop yeah in online uh, tools we can use the web or cloud based service there is a example of docking software for offline method there is mgl tools autodoc autodoc fina three of uh 
tools is free ya yeah. you can use all of uh, this uh, source ya yeah. another service is cloud service for example target prediction swiss target prediction docking server zdoc server swiss dock server but in docking server there is a using a, a payment ya yeah. but another is uh, free so for docking preparation we need a small molecule could be uh, extracted from various uh, sites such as PubChem yeah managed by United States uh, National Institute of Health under the National Library of Medicine the first organic compound that exists with the chemical properties and 3D proper, property uh, 3D structure can be accessed freely through this uh, address yeah pubchem and cbi and lm dot nih.gov another source is zinc yeah there is uh, also would be uh, access from zincdocking.org the 3d format available in zinc are mol2 and sdf in pubchem would be accessed as sdf 3d structure sdf later you can uh, translate or modify the format uh, of the file properly used for uh, another uh, docking software. We can also make the small molecule data by drawing by ourselves with molecular drawing uh, software such as Marvin Sketch. Yeah? We can save as uh, Smile, Small2, SDF, or PDB, and we can save it later for uh, docking uh, usage. Yeah. And for molecule, macromolecule or target uh, protein, yeah, extracted from protein data bank. There is a protein data bank or PDB. There is an important that uh, quality of the uh, structure should be noted. There is how many chains located, uh, how many chains of the protein exist. Yeah, there is a shape. There is apple or hollow. How about the sequence? complete sequence or not what is a solvent or cofactor or water or metal existing in this uh, molecule so we have to consider all this thing about the drug target for example if we don't know the drug target we can see there is a, a popular drug target for example for <clears throat> metalactamase yeah, AMPC we can see in pdb 1l2s yeah dipeptidyl dipeptidyl uh, peptidase 4 for uh, target for diabetes yeah dpp4 2i78 there is a 2i78 for dipeptidyl dipeptidyl peptidase there is a pdb id yeah so we can also make a query here in this uh, site, yeah, PDB to find the structure to I78, or we can also click in this uh, uh, text, yeah, the hypertext. There is uh, another software to make a target prediction using Swiss target prediction. We can make a query molecule here using the smiles. Yeah. For example, this structure, left structure. If we make the picture, uh, the, the, the structure here, we can uh, get the smiles uh, file. Yeah. Then the smiles uh, text would be 
query as a query here for query molecule then the Swiss target will predict what is the receptor yeah fit to the ligand so the probability here the most uh, full bar is the uh, There is a probable uh, mu opioid receptor yeah, to this uh, molecule. There's another delta opioid receptor yeah, this, for this example. So after this, we can uh, try the docking tutorial. Yeah. You can access the material in this uh, address, yeah, https, double slash, uh, as the ID slash docking tutorial, so you can uh, have uh, all the material in a uh, video. Uh, yeah, oh, I'm sorry, I have to take the my battery. <laughs> so, Okay. Kalau sekarang udah benar-benar habis stoknya, Mbak. Okay, Prof. Ari is probably leave the Zoom for now because he has to charge his battery. So we just wait. Okay. Sorry, I apologize. My battery is drained. So I will plug, I already plugged my battery. So the next, I will share about uh, the how to make uh, docking with auto dock. Yeah. So. Yeah, this is my uh, last slide. Yeah, so you can uh, connect to the docking uh, tutorial uh, material. Yeah, so to prepare the computer for uh, docking, at least you have the PC, yeah, computer, PC, or laptop with operating system windows mac os for mac here yeah, and linux here yeah. 
with at least the specification of i5 or equivalent with a memory minimal uh, 4 gigabyte. The mouse is uh, important for us because without the mouse, we can get a difficulty to control the rotation of the uh, picture of the protein. Yeah, Usually in, in laptop, there is a touch bar, yeah, touch, uh, touchpad, yeah. So if we use touchpad, our uh, fingerprints sometimes will be cramped, yeah. So the usage of mouse is important to avoid our stress in our finger. And also the software used in Autodoc, yeah, you can download Autodoc. MGL tools, both here, yeah, auto of MGL tools and exports. If you want, if you want to use the software in Mac OS or uh, Apple, yeah. But if you use only Windows, you only need Autodocs and MGL tools. If you get the both software, so we can see there is a. Software MGL tools win uh, three to thirty two under under uh, underscore one point five point seven underscore setup is uh, located in the desktop. You can put all the downloaded uh, software in the desktop. And for Autodoc, there is Autodoc suite. Uh, minus uh, four dot two dot five and dot six dot i eighty six windows could be placed in the uh, des your desktop. So to install program, you can make the data folder number one, yeah, for working space in the your desktop. Put your software to be installed, both software number two and number three, MGL tools and Autodoc for attention. To create the folder or directory, don't use the space to avoid error, yeah? Uh, for example, if you want to make the folder my data, you cannot use my space data, but you can use my underscore data or my data without spaces, yeah, without space to avoid an error. So this is a MGL tools installation, yeah. The first you can click the picture icon, yeah. Number one, the, the MGL tools uh, icon to be executed. After it execute, there's a window, yeah. You can click yes, number two, number three. There is welcome uh, dialog, yeah. What software should to be installed? You can you could also click next, yeah. And uh, the fourth step, yeah. There is a license agreement. You should be agree, yeah. You should agree accept the term of license agreement. If you don't agree, you cannot use this software. And also the step five, step fifth, yeah, there is a folder will be uh, used for install. There is a default uh, folder, yeah. If you want to change, you can click browse and make a folder. In this step, you can uh, click next, yeah, and the installation installation will be uh, performed, yeah. After installation finished, the seventh step, yeah, you could you can see uh, with some announcement how to cite the software, yeah. Please use uh, the citation properly if you use software in your publication yeah number seven we can we can click okay and installation is complete so if you want to launch a python molecular viewer 
create desktop shortcut, create quick launch uh, shortcut. You can check, yeah, put the check mark here. The default is check mark, but you can uh, remove the check mark, then uh, click the finish. Yeah, number. Yeah. The number eight is the, the, the step before uh, this uh, installation complete, yeah? So after you click finish directly, the Python molecular viewer is launched, will be launched, yeah? The installation process, uh, after its installation uh, process, there is a uh, four new icon added on the desktop, yeah? The program that will be used, yeah, in the next uh, works is Autodoc tools, yeah. There is a uh, all almost the same between Python Molecular Viewer and uh, Autodoc tools. Above the Autodoc, close to the arrow, yeah, there is a PMV. The PMV and Autodoctors is the same, uh, using the same viewer, but in Autodoc tools, there is another uh, edit menu. Yeah, there is a, another menu <clears throat> for docking, but in PMV, there is no menu for docking. There is another step for installation for Autodoc. Yeah, there is a Step yeah, step one to make uh, access to the icon of Autodoc software. You can click in the step two yeah, the program name location. Step three, we can uh, change the location if you want. If you want to change, step four, uh, installation complete. Then. We can uh, note the position or location of our software. Yeah, we can uh, use your, the note your notes about location of the Autodoc software. And the first thing we have to set the workspace. For example, if you use a user workshop desktop data we can put a startup directory to make sure the data of our works is located uh, properly so we will we can only access to this uh, uh, directory different project could be a different uh, startup directory so you can change this directory if you if you want to move to another project so after this we can make default and set and also step three dismiss and the directory startup directory is safe so this is a molecular visualization yeah as uh, i mentioned before number one is python molecular viewer number two is autodoc so if you if you use autodoc tools it includes pmv tools uh, inside the autodoc tools so you cannot uh, you not necessary to use uh, pmv itself the it autodocs uh, function both viewer and also for docking this, this is important thing to prepare docking the file that must be available is macro molecule in PDB Qt format, ligand in PDB Qt format, grid parameter file or GPF, doc parameter file or DPF. So the first, the molecule must be freed from unnecessary components such as water, ions, metal, solvents, and ligands. And sometimes water, metal, and cofactor are retained in some cases. Yeah, in the advanced uh, work. Yeah, 
but for pre preliminary usually we use uh, all the molecule is removed then the remaining molecule is um, only macromolecule macromolecule are separated in monomer form except for functional or dimeric or oligomeric form sometimes macromolecule come in dimer trimer tetramer or oligomer but at this time we use only monomer except the functional yeah sometimes the functional form uh, come with in dimer or oligomeric form then macromolecule on like and ligand are added with the uh, gastiger charts and polar hydrogen atoms yeah and then we make a grid setting to set the location or position to which part of the molecule the ligand will be placed yeah so there is a number of position with x y z axis number one yeah we can uh, rotate a number uh, about 40 40 point yeah 40 point in the red one 40 point in the uh, green 40 point in the blue it's mean there is a cube yeah because the value is the same we can rotate the cube to be another shape yeah bigger or uh, smaller yeah the point yeah there is a 40 point so there is a space between point the space number two there is a distance between point so it's point separate how many angstrom usually default 0 0.3 0 0.375 angstrom and then the box center yeah number three where's the center should be placed sometime we make a center position in the ligand or we can place the some value in the dialogue yeah then we can save it later so there is a to execute docking there is a two step in molecular docking you can use auto grid first after its success succeed yeah uh, you can continue with auto dock number number two for number one if you click number one there is a dialogue one for molecular do, uh, for auto grid you can use uh, where the program installed number one as we note uh, before yeah C program files x85 etc or auto grid x yeah then if this succeed can continue to auto dock for uh, access then if both uh, finish we can analyze uh, yeah anal uh, analyze of the result we can open the result with this dialog then yeah we can see yeah step two you can see uh, dlg is uh, come from auto doc doc uh, log, log file then you can open number two and number three we can play the confirmation number four we can click at that picture number five we can click uh, by clicking number four. There is dialog set play option. We can click a uh, show info in number five. Then uh, dialog number six will appear. We can see uh, the binding energy of the conformation minus uh, 10.06. Yeah. You can uh, using this step. So I will show the the demo of this uh, step. Yeah. So let me play the demo. 
there is installation part here. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you can click here. Yeah, click yes. Yes, welcome message. Next. This is license agreement. You can accept here. Yes. Then you can change the destination folder if you want to. Then click next if you don't want. And preparing installation. The program files will be installed to the folder. Yeah. Then there is a citation information, yeah. Okay, and finish. Okay, so by using finish, so the PMV will be launched, yeah. The Python molecular molecule viewer so in his loading. There is uh four. Yeah, software is installed. Then we can see there is a phase of a Python molecular viewers. So we can manipulate the molecule here. So we can continue to another uh, another scenario. The first, how to run Autodoc tools. Kita mulai tutorial ini dengan mengklik icon Autodoc Tools. Tunggu sebentar hingga program siap dan muncul layar dashboard. Ya, yeah. ya yeah, we can click this part ya yeah, Autodoc Tools, then the Autodoc Tools will be launched ya. Yeah. This uh, window of Autodoc Tools. You can see there is a data folder here. Then we can make the preference setting as I saw before. Yeah, there is startup directory. We can yeah put here. Yeah, change as the folder located located here desktop data then make it default set and also dismiss yeah then if we take the file so the file will be located in this uh, data folder This is the first part. Then, how we work with PDB? Yeah. If we have a PDB file, yeah. Yeah, this is a uh, accessing. PDB file with a read molecule. Then uh, the molecule uh, 6COX, as previously we take from PDB, is read it. Yeah. Then you can open. Then molecule is uh, displayed in the dashboard. Yeah, can make it uh, full screen. 
this is how how we access the PDB file with uh, Autodoc tools. Okay, then the the next step is uh, how we separate. So in this molecule, there is a two a chain, yeah, chain A and chain B. As we see, the green uh, color of the chains is located in the right side, and the uh, purple, yeah, in the left side. We can save the PDB that we mark, yeah. Yeah, we can save to the data. Yeah, we can put uh, another identification like this. Okay. Then we can. Uh, Delete all the dashboard. Yeah. So after that, we can check the file uh, already made from this step. So next step. So. In this step, we can load the molecule that we separate before, yeah? Read molecule, they yeah, already there, open. So the molecule in the uh, form of monomer. So we can make a click uh, under uh, R column to make a ribbon and remove the L column to remove a uh, line representation. Then the color with the secondary structure to make a secondary structure of a helix in uh, red color and the yellow color is uh, the strand, yeah? Okay, the next is uh, We can make two, two separate uh, receptors. Okay, this is how we separate the receptors. Yeah, after we load the Monomer uh, structure, yeah, six UXA. You can see in the bottom under the after the amino acid residue, there is a hetero atom, yeah, S and six uh, five five eight seven. You can save it as a hetero atom. And remove other, save it as hetero item. Yeah. Then we name it uh, as uh, 58 BDB. Okay. After that, We can uh, invert, invert uh, selection 
yeah the selection will be changed yeah other than uh, as uh, 58 but invert selection will be invert all molecule other than but we don't want other heteroatom included here so we make a check mark with we select all uh, heteroatom here and a g him and s58 and make invert selection by invert selection we only choose the amino acid yeah so all amino acid in the structure will be saved as atom so we have to remove heteroatom motress and connect so the important thing only two we consider here atom and heteroatom atom is a nomenclature for amino acid heteroatom is nomenclature for uh, ligand yeah other than uh, amino acid so can see receptor yeah, we name it a receptor. Okay. After we name it, we have uh, two molecule. The first, the ligand, S58. Uh, yeah, we remove all, all of things. Yeah. And loading all this, all of this. So we can see there is a six. 58 and receptor in a separate file. Then continue to view ligand and receptor. We have to inspect all of thing. Yeah. How about uh, receptor and ligand? So the first we can see uh, both receptors and ligand yeah then open yeah yeah open the ligand yeah it's loading and the next we can continue to open the receptors so in this in this time we can open many many molecules here yeah so at this time, only two molecule we load in the dashboard, the receptor molecule and ligand receptor from a different uh, file. Originally, receptor and ligand in the same file. So we can, it's difficult to dock the file. So by separating uh, ligand and receptor, the docking uh, experiment. Bukan, temennya semalam masih ketinggalan. Okay, we can see making a beautiful picture with color, and yeah, this this picture could be published if you want to. Yeah. Or like ligon, make it make it a uh, bolt, not using line. Yeah, the bonding with the bolts or the representation of uh, ligon will be uh, more beautiful than before. Yeah. Okay. So uh, this is a part of preparation. So the next preparation is, as I mentioned, we have to prepare the ligon. We have to prepare prepare the macromolecule. So the first preparation is to prepare the ligand. So the first step is yeah, adding the hydrogen bond to the ligand. First loading as uh, 58. Then you can display atom type here. Yeah.
then add the hydrogen would be all hydrogen or polar only so this is all hydrogen but if after this we can also uh yeah underscore h yeah you can save with uh adding another identity so s68 already added with a hydrogen bond a hydrogen atom yeah okay another step is uh what's this yeah this is another 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 example okay another example is yeah this add hydrogen to ligand and save SPDPKT in one step. Yeah. The same as previous. You can read a molecule ligand as a 60, 58, then making it uh, color it with atom type. Yeah. Then edit, add hydrogen. Yeah, and would be yes for all hydrogen, but in this part, it's not necessary to put all hydrogen for uh, non-polar. So we have to merge non-polar atom. So after that, the non-polar atom will be merged. Then the remaining hydrogen atom only in the polar state. Yeah. Then we can add. Uh, Coleman or Gastegger charts here. Yeah. Then we save, yeah, output. So you can also choose here, yeah, S68, select for autodoc. Then at Gastegger charts is uh, added. If you want to use as uh, autodoc tools, autodoc uh, ligand, then we can save it as PDBQT. Yeah, in the PDBQT uh, format is only yeah. uh, charts. Yeah, for uh, from gas ticket chart. So it's important for uh, docking. Then after we have uh, ligand charts and save on PDBQT, we have to prepare. macromolecule yeah the pre so we have to prepare macromolecule and save as PDBQT. yeah okay yeah the first we add the read molecules receptors yeah open receptors then change the color to make it clear yeah after to differentiate with to hydrogen yeah add hydrogen so all hydrogen will be at here. So the white color uh, is the hydrogen atoms added to the molecule. Then we can save it as a PB. Yeah, receptor, receptor H. Yeah, we already had a hydrogen atom. Okay, then the next step is the open the receptor. Make it, uh, make the, oh, sorry. To make, yeah, 
there is the step is to make the macro molecule yeah as a pdb qt yeah open pdb qt yeah pdb yeah receptor h then open Yeah, it will count how many atom hydrogen here. Then directly save to PDBQT. This automatically save to PDBQT. If we access uh, the molecule from the grid there, yeah, menu from ADT4 to menu as a molecule to be open. Yeah, the PDBQT automatically translated to PDBQT. Okay. So at this time, we have uh, both uh, molecule, ligand, and uh, macromolecule in uh, PDBQT. Then we continue to prepare a GPF file. The next step, the GPF file is important for, uh, sorry, yeah. To make an affinity map for uh, interaction between ligand and receptors. The first grid, macromolecule open, then receptor H, PDBQT, that we prepared before, yeah. Yes, we can use uh, gas tiger charts before. Okay. Then the next step, we set map type open ligand. We have to we use a ligand here as uh, 68. Then we can make it a grid box. We can change the position, uh, change the the dimension. Yeah, here, sixty, yeah, fifty or forty. Yeah, depend on our aims of the research. Yeah, we can put the high higher number than the cube. occupy all the molecules so the blind docking could be uh, attempt in the side yeah spacing angstrom is already defined and default then center grid box could be changed but at this time it can be uh, used a center on ligand so automatically the box will be center at the ligand position, yeah, ligand position. Then we can close with saving. So then click the output to save a GPF file. Okay, you can use. Uh, name with a GPF yeah then finish after this have a three file the first file is PDBQT ligand PDBQT the second PDBQT for a macromolecule the third is a GPF a grid parameter files yeah then the fourth step you have to prepare a Yeah, this file. Yeah, we have to prepare the macromolecule for a uh, dog parameter file. Okay. Yeah. This step will be create. Will be created the 
file yeah. the first we have to open rigid file name with receptor pdbqt okay rigid file name is uh, rigid file name for macromolecule the macromolecule set as a rigid and the ligand could be open or choose we can choose if there is not in the display but we can choose if there is a display in dashboard so the search parameter using genetic algorithm we can use a genetic algorithm run about 10 sorry there's a 10 times to be uh, iterate, uh, replicate then the number of evaluation is short so it doesn't take a long time to perform docking if you can use a sort but if you want to make a more accurate you can use a long yeah so that you can accept this yeah okay docking parameter yeah this is about docking parameter accept all parameter that offer yeah as default and docking uh, other option there's no yeah there's the Lamarckian uh, genetic algorithm then you can put the name with the extension dpf yeah doc parameter file after that we have all of things to perform docking the first pdbqt for ligand the second pdbqt for uh, macromolecule read parameter file and doc parameter file okay so after this we can perform a docking to perform docking the first we have to run the auto grid to run auto grid is uh, this. run auto grid okay yeah run auto grid yeah auto grid minus p yeah cox gf gpf that file already have uh, in previous step then in minus l there is the result file would be written a letter with extension of glg yeah so we can check letter if the auto grid is performed the glg file will be uh, produced launch yeah then can continue yeah there is if there is a, a disappear from the window it could be finished yeah there is finish okay then we can uh, check the file uh, produced from a previous part yeah okay there is a glg file you can open a data yeah and there is a file produced from uh, auto doc, auto grid and there is a gpf there's many files produced map file affinity map and glg so you can use a notepad here yeah, to open this file yeah then there is a file a text file produced from auto grid yeah we have to check the last uh, file the last part of this file so auto grid for successful completion it means the process is uh, finished uh, finished well yeah then we can continue to the next step in the next step we can continue to run docking process so docking process 
can be performed after we have a grid file yeah without the grid file docking process could not be oh sorry yeah so let's stop soon yeah run auto dock Yeah, in step, run auto dock. Then minus p auto dock four minus p six cox dpf the file produced before. Yeah, then the log file minus l six cox dlg. So the result of docking will be written in dlg file. We launch the program. It's take a long time, yeah. So I make it uh, faster. Then, if the window is closed, we have to check the result. So, the result in a DLG file. We have to view DLG file, yeah. So, DLG file. If there is a finish. Uh, completely so you can see yeah in data dlg file okay open with notepad okay so this is the first uh, the header of the file uh, the dlg file so go to the last line of this file so yeah autodoc for successful completion so it means the file is uh, finished, yeah? Okay. Then what next? The docking is finished. So the next step is analysis, yeah? Then we continue the last part, yeah? The last part is an uh, important step to analyze the result. There is if there is a result from previous part of docking. So open DLG file. You can open DLG file. Yeah. So I I uh, yeah. The first from analyze a menu. Click docking and open. Open DLG file. Okay. Then. It will read a 10 confirmation as we use in parameter. So docking, confirmation, and play. So there is a confirmation number one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. We can click the player. Yeah, there is a 10 confirmation. 10 confirmation could be oh, 100 confirmation depend our uh, aims yeah you can use uh, in previous step yeah then we can also yeah analyze the macromolecule open the macromolecule then the macromolecule could be open automatically they it will know which uh, receptor will you uh, already used here. Then we draw it in a ribbon. Yeah. Remove the line. Yeah. Then the secondary structure is uh, drawn by this color. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The figure of the ligand is improved, yeah, with the bo uh, bone and length here, yeah, not line, here. Yeah. So the line will be bold here. Yeah. Then we can check the position of the ligand and also click the, this picture and show info. 
Yeah. Then we can see the binding energy. Yeah. The binding energy of this conformation number seven. Yeah. The conformation number six, the binding energy change. Yeah. Then we can note the binding energy. Yeah. So the more negative a binding energy, and we take it as a, a higher affinity, and we can also making the clustering. Yeah, to, to clustering there is a binding position, binding pose. Yeah, there is a three binding pose in this. Uh, okay. So we can analyze whether this cluster, yeah, by clicking this part, yeah, only uh, one cluster, yeah, you can see cluster two, number two, yeah, then the conformation uh, of binding energy is also shown here. We can also uh, inspect the another cluster. So the cluster is to separate the binding pose uh, from its uh, position, yeah, from 10 conformation. You can make the conformation more, for example, 100, and analyze conformation. How many conformation exist after docking? So it means uh, we can inspect which conformation is better. So the conformation uh, comply with the original uh, ligand or not. Then you can choose the better conformation or better position and the better uh, bending energy. Okay. I think this all of uh, the lecture. Yeah. I hope you enjoy this lecture and can use maybe for your uh, research or your uh, uh, work. Yeah, thank you very much for your kind. Yeah, almost two hours lecture. I hope you can follow uh, my uh, presentation. Thank you. Uh, Thank you very much, Professor Arianwar. That was a very comprehensive presentation. And for some participants, it is probably quite new, but you explained it quite clearly. So ladies and gentlemen, now we know about molecular docking and how helpful it is in drug discovery process and even the practice approach uh, of how to do the docking with the autodoc software. So now um, I would like to allow you to have a discussion with Prof. Ari. And everyone is absolutely allowed to ask questions, so don't be shy. You can use raise hand feature and then voice on, or if it is difficult for you, you can type your question in the chat box and I will read it out loud. Okay, there is a question from the chat box uh, from Ms. Nur Hasana. So during the receptor preparation, uh, does the protonation step uh, like adding hydrogen polar apply to all targets and all docking software and how to choose the best confirmation when analyzing the results? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, during uh, receptor preparation, yeah, mostly uh, we can use the protonation step for this, yeah, to add hydrogen polar to apply, yeah. Especially the important thing is in uh, location in the binding site. So this uh, binding site is a uh, important part of uh, interaction, yeah. I think uh, most uh, docking software use this step, yeah, is uh, very important. Because uh, with the with the adding hydrogen polar, so the interaction of a hydrogen bond interaction could be analyzed with uh, in the future. But for interaction with uh, 
non uh, hydrogen bond such as uh, hydrophobic interaction the adding of hydrogen is not uh, necessary so the hydrogen could be uh, merged with the carbon and how to choose the best conformation when anal analyzing best results uh, there is a uh, many uh, discussing about best conformation what is the best conformation if we refer the best conformation is the uh, addition of the uh, molecule or ligand molecule molecule want to placing again or, or redox yeah to the original place the best conformation is the position that match to the original position yeah but uh, if there is a uh, no reference yeah there is no reference of the ligand yeah the best conformation could be analyzed later by statistics yeah for example there is many conformation in the like in, in cluster yeah maybe in, there is a three cluster so confirmation mostly for example if we have a 10 uh, not 10 uh, 100 100 uh, conformation yeah 100 core formation clustered in three region yeah three uh, different conformation the conformation one maybe in the in the one in in other part of binding site conformation two in one another part of binding site maybe it is same as example in Raute graphene in Raute graphene we can uh, uh, we can say there is which one is the best conformation there is two places there is two places place uh, uh, in the right side or the left side but the molecule occupied in the both side left and uh, right so the important thing is how the molecule occupy the binding pocket if the molecule occupy binding pocket it mean the original uh, the original uh, work yeah of the protein target is interfere or inhibit so the important thing to design how to inhibit the work of the maybe the enzyme the target so we will occupy the binding site as long as possible yeah so this is the answer yeah okay And there's another question from Dharmawan, yeah? Yeah. yeah if, so, we yeah, ligand, okay. yeah. if we make a new ligand structure by ourselves, okay, we can we can make a new ligand or hypothetic ligand. What software can be used to optimize it before being prepared in out of the This is important thing, yeah? We can use uh, any... Uh, drawing molecular drawing software such as a uh, chemdraw or uh, what's this uh, anything yeah after that or we can we can make a uh, modify molecule then we add um, another uh, add uh, atom yeah or chem sketch yeah marvin sketch the important thing we Save, save it in the uh, 3D molecule. Yeah. But to make 3D molecules, sometimes there is MM, uh, MM, MMF4, usually using MMF4 uh, uh, algorithm at least. Don't forget to add uh, hydrogen. Yeah. After that, we can save it in the 3d format so if you have 3d format either uh, mol2 
format or SDA format with the optimized format using uh, optimized uh, conformation, maybe using uh, algorithm uh, MMF4. So you can continue for docking, yeah. Changing the format to PDB format. So Autodoc accept a PDB format. So you can, you can save as PDB format. But important thing to uh, optimize the molecule first after drawing with a uh, molecule optimizer, yeah. You can also uh, using uh, Amber tools. Yeah. Amber tools is good uh, tools for optimizing also. Okay. Thank you, Prof. Ari. Maybe I will add one more question from the audience. Yeah. Waiting for the question. So if you have an idea making a picture or drawing molecule, maybe from uh, nature product, yeah, there's many nature natural product compound you, you can uh, download from many sources yeah or you can draw is good if you have a library your own library making it for docking and modify structure after modification of course you have to consider what what's important of modification there is a, a issue after modify you can make it uh, to perform docking you can compare uh, before and after modification yeah this is uh, the experiment yeah okay all right maybe i would like to ask a question Prof. Ari. Yeah. Yeah. so based on your experience how close it is the result from in silico method and in vitro or in vivo studies yeah is also an issue but because uh, limitation yeah limitation of docking there is a uh, sometime using rigid semi uh, flexible yeah or flexible but docking only for prediction yeah sometimes is not so close yeah sometimes we have to uh, continue to molecular dynamic simulation to make it to perform it uh, dynamic situation of the uh, macromolecule and ligand uh, to make it a freely move yeah in uh, binding pocket in certain time so after the time a uh, certain time frame for example uh, 100 nanosecond 200 nanosecond how it uh, how the stabilize uh, how it uh, occupy stable or not yeah how many uh, interaction you can calculate? Yeah. Then, so after this, we can compare molecular dynamic result with the in vitro. But directly uh, comparing docking with in vitro is not 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 sense. Yeah. Sometimes you're yeah, very uh, far away. Yeah. All right because the time is running out uh, question <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay but maybe uh, i will need to end the discussion session but if okay. you still want to ask question maybe you can email prof ari personally okay. after this session <laughs> yeah. okay. okay and please allow me to take some highlighted points from today's lecture so first, uh, side effect of a drug might be useful for treating other disease and how it works can be explored in a timely manner by the use of in silico method. And the use of in silico method can reduce the time needed for a new drug discovery. Um, some indicators used in molecular docking are posing, scoring, and ranking, and you will need a docking algorithm and you will need to know the structure of the target protein before you can uh, do the docking. Also, the molecular docking can be used for either new drug invention or drug repurposing. 
Okay, on behalf of all participants, I would like to thank Prof. Arianwar for the excellent and insightful topic, and we wish you a great success on finding many new drugs for the sake of human life. And now I will return the session to the MC. Thank you, Dr. Ernie, and once again, thank you, Prof. Ari. Now, I would like to inform all participants that our comedy has shared the attendance list as well as the evaluation questionnaire in the chat box. Please kindly spare a minute to fill on attendance list and our evaluation questionnaire. Saya ingin, saya ingin mengingatkan para peserta untuk memeriksa kolom chat Zoom untuk mengisi daftar hadir karena panitia tidak akan membagikan link tersebut melalui media, media lain selain chat room Zoom. Now, for appreciation, the comedy would like to give Prof. Ari and Dr. Ernie an e-certificate. The certificate will be given by one of our committee members virtually. Thank you for this appreciation. <laughs> Thank you very much, Prof. Ari. <laughs> You're very interesting, very heavy, I think, the topic. And uh, I think your topic uh, become the most wanted topic today, right? <laughs> okay, th thanks uh, once again uh, for your presentation. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Dr. Ernie Sagita, thank you for your uh, action today. Very good to moderate the uh, lecture today. Thank you, Bufat. Okay, that is for the appreciation session. Now, I would like to ask for all the ladies and gentlemen here that we are going to take a picture together for documentation. Please turn on your cameras and please one of our comedy to guide this photo session. Okay, uh, let me take things for our uh, for the first in first slide until fourth slide. For the uh, participants, please turn on your camera. And the first for the first slide, uh, one, two, three. Okay. For the second slide, okay, one, two, three. Okay, for the third slide. And for the last, for the fourth slide. Okay, enough. Thank you. Back to the master of ceremony. Thank you, Kasuro. Thank you, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, I would like to remind everyone here to fill the attendance list that we have shared in the chat box. Mengingatkan kembali para peserta untuk memeriksa kolom chat Zoom untuk mengisi daftar hadir karena panitia tidak akan membagikan link tersebut melalui media lain selain chat room Zoom. And now, for reminder, the next lecture will be held tomorrow on Friday, the 26th August 2022 with two lectures. The eighth lecture from Professor Apotheker Sylvia Surini, Master of Pharmaceutical Science, PhD, from the Laboratory of Pharmaceutics and Pharmaceutical Technology, Faculty of Pharmacy, Universitas Indonesia. That will start at 1 p.m. Jakarta time. And also there would be cultural session and networking event. For tomorrow, the Zoom will be open 30 minutes before the lecture starts. Don't forget to join everyone.
Finally, we have come to the end of this event. May all of us get the value and benefits from today's lecture. Thank you very much for your kind attention and participation in this summer course. I am Anissa Renanda Paranto, signing off and see you tomorrow. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam. 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 Waalaikumsalam.